Robert the Bruce leads Scotland in Civilization VI Rise and Fall. He was no stranger to battle and led his people to victory during the First War of Scottish Independence. He is remembered as a fierce defender of Scotland's interests, both on and off the battlefield. Scotland's unique ability is called Scottish Enlightenment. Happy and ecstatic cities receive additional science and production. They also receive additional great scientist points from campuses and great engineer points from industrial zones. Scotland's unique improvement is the golf course. This provides an amenity as well as gold. It also provides culture if adjacent to a city center and additional culture if adjacent to an entertainment district. Their unique unit is the Highlander. This reconnaissance unit replaces the Ranger and receives a combat bonus when fighting in hills and woods. Robert's unique ability is Bannockburn. After researching the Defensive Tactics Civic, he can declare a War of Liberation. After declaring a War of Liberation, he receives additional movement to units and production to cities in the opening turns of the war. Though Robert can be a powerful military leader, be sure to combat war weariness with golf courses to reap the full benefits of Scotland's unique ability. Scotland is a science and production powerhouse, making this a versatile sieve for any victory type. Can you create an enlightened, independent kingdom? How will you lead Scotland in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Rise and Fall?